North Kansas City Hospital is known for our high quality uh, center of excellence in cancer, but through this collaboration with the University of Kansas Cancer Center, we are going to take our program to a new level and give our cancer patients access to the region's only National uh, Cancer Institute designated program. This new partnership means that our patients will have the added benefit of access to clinical trials and the opportunity to participate with the National Cancer Institute uh, designated program while staying close to home, which we know is very important to our patients. As part of the partnership, we've invested in some wonderful new technology. I hope you've had a chance to tour and see the linear accelerator that has expanded capacities and technology that isn't available anywhere else in the Northland. Our collaboration with the University of Kansas Cancer Center is all about providing the best care to our patients and fulfilling our mission, which is to provide hope and healing to every life we touch. From North Kansas City Hospital, I want to thank and recognize Jody Abbott, Matt Forsman, Sarah Fields, Jim McNay, Tom Goulding, Dr. Carter, uh, Jennifer Cozen, and from University of Kansas Cancer Center and also University of Kansas Hospital, I'd like to thank Bob Page, Tammy Peterman, Jeff Wright, Brenda Dykstra, Bill Marting, Dan Peters, and then Dr. Kumar, Dr. Sue, Dr. Plenicky, and Dr. Myron. A lot of people, but that's just the tip of the iceberg of the teams that led us to this wonderful event this evening. I'd also like to thank our Board of Trustees and the Board of the University of Kansas Hospital Authority. Without your leadership and willingness to commit the resources and take the uh, action to form a true partnership between two hospitals that really care about their patients, we wouldn't be here today. So thank you very much. And I would now like to introduce Bob Page, President and CEO of the University of Kansas Hospital. Thank you very much, Peggy. I, uh, I think tonight's been classified as a ribbon cutting ceremony, but the fact of the matter is it's really a patient celebration. And when I go back to what brought North Kansas City Hospital and KU Hospital together for these conversations, it was that focus on the patient. We've had numerous conversations in our community about potential partners, and they've all fallen apart because once you get down to the discussion about the importance of patient care, it's pretty clear when you can find an organization and committed to that and one that's not. And when we've had these conversations with North Kansas City, there's been no question. It's all about the patient. It is at KU, it is at North Kansas City, and that's the foundation that's brought us all here tonight, and we're really excited about that. So thank you to everybody here in the room who's been part of making this happen. We're very excited about that. So tonight, you're going to walk through, some of you have already done it, and you're going to see an environment, and you're going to hear about a program that's all about helping patients through their journey with cancer. And we've got great bells and whistles, and we've got a great team of people, but at the end of the day, the story is about what's right for the patient. So we're fortunate enough tonight to have a patient here who's going to help us with the ribbon cutting ceremony. I had a chance to meet Mike Smith earlier tonight, and um, here's Mike's story. Mike was diagnosed with cancer of the tongue. And Mike went to his primary care doc, and he was given three options. <clears throat> he said, well, you can go to St. Louis, or you can go to Omaha, or you can go to KU. And fortunately, we had formed the partnership here, and Mike has connections to KU. He had a daughter who was trained over there. And he wanted to be part of this, and Mike lived in the Northland. And so what a great opportunity to, to come here. And in fact, he was the first patient here. And Mike has now made it successfully through his treatment. He said he's ready to go. And so we're going to put him to the test tonight to help us with the uh, ribbon cutting ceremony.